Um, it gives me great pleasure now to introduce an old friend of ours, Dr. Avon. Uh, also from Thailand, who she, Dr. Avon is currently the assistant to the President for Research and Academic Affairs uh, since October 2010. In her current role, she facilitated the establishment of the area-based research management system of Chiang Mai University in collaboration with the Thailand Research Fund. CBR division and local communities. She has under, undertaken research projects and published academic articles on participatory agricultural extension, community-based research management system, and empowerment. Dr. Avon, we have so much to learn from you. Please come and share with us on your presentation on community-based research. Thank you research. very much for the um, organizing committee um, to uh, allow me to have this chance again. Um, this morning, um, I'm going to talk about ecosystem of community-engaged community research in Thailand because uh, not many academics in, in Thailand that have hearts <laughs> like um, Professor uh, Wararan and uh, Kun Angela. That's why we need to to create an ecosystem to to encourage them to to work with the community. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, four themes about uh, introduction to of community-based research, uh, which I will call CBR among academics in Thailand, the establishment of a CBR management system at the faculty and university level, and the development of a socially engaged scholarship track in Thailand, and the establishment of uh, SES is, uh, stand for socially engaged scholarship management system at the university level. And for the first one, um, if you're looking at the uh, history of um, university role goals, um, I, I like to refer to uh, USA. In about 1982, um, USA have a land-grant university. And that was the first time that uh, there was an um, extension professor. Right now, um, we are 2013, and back to uh, about 15 years in Thailand. Um, learning from, uh, from a French system of uh, professional school, in Thailand, many universities uh, become uh, developing the goal like that, like Jula Lungon, um, Medical University, Kasesat is for agriculture, Silapakorn is for arts, and uh, Rajapat University is for, um, is for uh, educate uh, teacher. But how about other university, and especially research university like uh, CMU? Our main steam is like that. Uh, if you are going to be uh, to be a teacher and uh, you got promotion, um, you need to teaching, researching, and uh, public to do public service. The public service more or less uh, knowledge and transfer of technology, but uh, the work like uh, Professor Waran has done is not only about public service, it's about community engagement. So um, uh, in 19, so in, in 2005, we are looking back to our uh, research and development uh, personnel in Thailand. That time was focused on um, science and te technology. That's why I put uh, community engagement in a question mark. Um, lucky enough, in 1992, um, uh, Thailand Research Fund was established. 
um, TIF has been expected to facilitate the knowledge construction processes, helping researcher, um, research system, and research network to create appropriate solution to the challenges faced by Thai society. But um, after five years, when they um, reflect on what had happened to local community, not many research projects uh, sponsored by TRF have outcome and impact to um, community. And it, it was lucky enough that um, Thailand Research Fund initiated the Community-Based Research, or CBI, scheme in 19... 98, that was uh, almost 15 years ago, almost 15 years ago. And um, they, they uh, set the system like um, they have a CBI node uh, and a mentor to help um, perform like Professor Bararan and Angela work in um, Lampang because they facilitate the um, community people to develop a CBI project. And um, by last year, uh, there are 56 nodes and uh, a mentor uh, throughout the country. So you see uh, how many in each um, region. And those are, uh, some are area-based, notes. Some are issue-based like um, tourism and some are university-based like myself at uh, CMU. And um, during the last, I think, 10 years, uh, there are 1,625 CBAR projects uh, throughout Thailand. And Oh, sorry, it will take like um, many of CBR projects uh, deal with conflict management, but some are start with um, we call in Thailand not the hot issue, but about uh, conservation, which is um, which is uh, good enough for the enterprise. But uh, many community cannot cannot deal with uh, such. A, a lovely uh, issue like history or arts or architecture because the situation is so so um, conflict and they have to to deal with uh, some of conflicts management like this one uh, they're trying to to uh, develop what we call free alcohol and less expenditure uh, funeral uh, they build up self-management community strategy. And this one, uh, how, to, how to improve learning, um, learning process. This is the whole school research. Um, the, the student uh, still grade one until uh, uh, grade six, they, they all do the research uh, based on their interest. I'm going to uh, to pass this uh, very quick, and because uh, I would like to to focus on the second part. Uh, this one also very very uh, interest. Uh, the parents um, try to uh, develop themselves to to have a time to read for the kids. Uh, and this one, um, I asked Professor Sila Pon uh, to talk about it. Uh, it's about increasing efficiency of the um, of the limit uh, water management. Um, it's uh, a collaboration between uh, university people and and people at the uni university. I like to to talk about a CBR principle. If we uh, think back of the the project of Dr. Waradan, um, the first one is that research questions or needs has to be identified by community people. 
and uh, community people become co-researchers. She didn't mention that they become co-researchers, but actually uh, in action they become really a co-researcher. And um, they design practical action based on collected data. CBR or uh, research like Professor uh, Waradan or uh, Dr. James use a lot of information. We, we are not used of uh, our feeling, but it has to be based on information. This is the, the heart of a CBR project. And uh, the practical action has to develop based on um, such uh, collected data through participatory learning process. Uh, this is what uh, synthesized by um, Professor um, Kanchanai Keltep in Thailand. If we go to it quickly, it starts from uh, research team formation, identification of uh, research questions, and then research design, and then build up common understanding. Uh, this stage is very, uh, you can see uh, the process of uh, Lampang um, project. And, and uh, Angela also mentioned about data management. And of course, utilization of research findings and analysis of lesson learned. Uh, mostly university-based notes and mentor. So um, with this uh, mechanism, we, we, um, we support academics to do a CBR project. We support uh, what we call CBMAC, community based for master grant um, student and CB puts for undergrad student. Unfortunately, CBMAC and CB puts was, uh, was uh, stopped by the year 2009, uh, not sponsored any longer by TRF, but uh, fortunate enough, uh, these two schemes has been, uh, has been uh, doing by a uh, university, by, by uh, the fund from university. And uh, CBR for academic is still going on uh, by the TRF. This is, I uh, just want to show you, uh, to you that uh, there are many academics from, from uh, many uh, universities in Thailand, uh, all regions. And uh, why I asked um, uh, Dr. Jim about the uh, publication, because it's difficult to, to encourage academic in Thailand to do this kind of research. But uh, you know what, uh, OECD uh, right now is um, trying to encourage us to, to think about not only a final report of the research project, not only a publication, but uh, we need to think about outcome and impact. And these two projects this morning help us to demonstrate what are the impact and outcome of the project. Um, so there's no need to talk about sustainability because it's going to become sustained because the community people are the one who identify research creation and their needs. Um, so we use uh, what I call CBR plus, mean uh, originally CBR is for the people at community. Uh, for CBR plus, I mean for um, academic, student, at all level. Um, what is the role of uh, the partnership? A community has to, uh, to be active participant, uh, co-decision maker, and uh, resource sharing. For faculty staff, uh, like this, uh, to project uh, demonstrate to us, uh, faculty staff has to be a very good facilitator for productive learning process, and of course they have to um, to integrate their expertise. Otherwise, there is no academic um, dimension on on CBR project. And for students, they have to be. Um, 
participant in learning uh, through interactive uh, information-based actions and, of course, uh, sharing their expertise as well. Um, how to develop socially engaged scholarship track? Uh, when it comes to talking about scholarship, uh, I'd like to refer to Professor E. Boyer. Um, he he uh, encouraged us to, to reconsider about scholarship. Of course, the main stream track is about scholarship on discovery, especially cosmopolitan discovery. But what uh, Dr. Jim and uh, Dr. Warren talk about is about scholarship of application or scholarship of integration. Okay, how many minutes? Five minutes, thank you. Um, so so uh, it's, it is also lucky enough that um, Thailand National Council Research uh, have, uh, have launched um, academic, sorry, have launched community-based research track uh, among, among four tracks. So in Thailand, there are four tracks of research, and the yellow one is the new one. Uh, in the past, it's only academic, which is cosmopolitan discovery. But now, it's about practical knowledge, which is uh, local discovery. And uh, by law, right now, academic in Thailand can, can uh, promote their um, professional shift through this track, I mean uh, community-based research track. And how to establish CBR management system at the faculty and university level. Um, for, for example, at CMU, uh, the university have to provide seed money that can be, uh, can be um, collaborate collaborate with uh, TRF CBR or TRF ABC. So, so uh, like uh, CMU provide um, one million baht uh, for the research project and TRF also uh, provide the same amount of money. Um, I'm going to pass this uh, very quickly because <clears throat> and and not only giving the money, um, university have to have to uh, set up the system like uh, assign one of the vice president to take care of uh, this this kind of project and um, to set the capacity building um, system as well. So. Uh, not only to to uh, to facilitate the the upstream process, but the midstream and downstream university had to to set the the system for the the uh, what we call community based research as well. And um, for the case of Thailand, uh, the ch what is the challenge is that how to scale up uh, this kind of system within, uh, within uh, many university. And I think uh, for, this, uh, for this forum, I um, would love to see our friend from other country to uh, think about uh, socially engaged research as well. And um, we are coming to, to, to write up a book with, uh, for Professor Creswell and about community-based research and higher education principle and uh, practice from Thailand and Asian experience. Thank you very much for your um, attention.